Hey guys, welcome back to your Master B online tutorial video. And this video will teach you uh, how to know the spare parts for each front focus worker DDG printer. And this is very important also. If you don't know the function and name for each spare parts, so when you get some problems, when you call Master B, what this, what that, I cannot understand what you're talking. So please, please read and follow my video to know the function for each spare parts, okay? So, let's start. When you get the machine, you can see there's a tab here, and also a tab here, and this is very important. You cannot power on the machine before you remove it. So, okay, so now I teach you the spare parts for each. Let's go from the front. So when we see the front, there's first there's the control panel. There's a control panel. It will be sure the printer status for printing or yellow. And this is the, the button for each function. This is for set the margin and the ports backwards, cancel, left, left, right, and enter, confirm, front for move to front and clean and test print. Normally we only use the, these four buttons, backward, forward, left, and right. And also all these functions we can also control from the software. Now this is just for backup. And also this the images button is for images using. Once you get some problems such as the print head gets scratched or the mid up not stop or front not stop, you can push down automatically, uh, immediately, and then when, when you push down, you need to load it and pull up to reboot again. So remember, push down is for cut down, and pull up is for reboot, power on again. So this is the emergency button. And also we can see here, this uh, sensor named <coughs> front limit sensor. And inside at the bottom, there's the metal to detect this metal. So once this the detect the parts get detected by the sensor, like this. So on the table, we automatically stop to pre to prevent protect the fabric will not move out of out of position. And this the linear layer. Left, right. This machine we use the the high configuration by two linear layer, but not the normally the board screw. And also this is the belt for driver the table moving. And also this is the brush steer hold box for how the t-shirt put in the waste t-shirt inside. And also this is the table to how to put the t-shirt on the surface for print. And also the, 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 the cover to make sure the t-shirt t-shirt surface get flight. And also this is the Carriage, all of this named the carriage. Inside, we, are, we, can, we see inside there are print head and some ink dampers and tubers. And also, this the cap station have two caps. Later, we introduce you what's the name and the function for each. And when we go to the top, we can see there's the, also the linear rear to drive the carriage move from left to right and normal printing. And also, the belt for carriage. And also inside here, this is very important, the, transfer, the transparent film named the ink film. And this film must keep it clean and without scratch or dirty. So you need to clean the ink film. Sometimes if you get dirty or, or scratch, you need to change it. And this is the tank churn inside, some, have some ink tuber and the cables. And also on top, Inside, they have the uh, up-down motor, and also this is the cable to supply for the power, uh, supply for the up-down motor, and also the up-limit sensor. So this is the up-limit sensor. When the table move up and down, it will stop it to move out of, out of position. And when we go here, we can see there's this the six. Uh, this is a five different uh, ink tank for different color. The first one is black, 
cyan, magenta, yellow, and white ink. Totally five different, five, totally five ink, tan ink tank. And also, when we go to the back set, we will see also some uh, spare parts you need to know. Okay, when we go to the red side of the machine, we will see there's the, there's the button here, and there's a mark here named the white ink secretion. And this is the white ink secretion pump button. When you push down, it will power on the white ink uh, secretion. And also inside, there's also some spare parts, the time controller. It, it will let you set how many seconds to make secretion, how many seconds. And also, this one is the waste ink tank inside. And you can loosen the two screw, you can take it out and uh, release it. And this is the value to open or close. If the wet ink tank is full, you need to open it and open the cover and release it. So this is the waste ink tuber and the waste ink tank at the left side, right side of the machine. And also this is the ink tank as we said before. Okay, so when we go to the back side of the machine, at the left side we can see this is the cable to supply the single and power for the up the up down rim up down motor here. This up down rim the up down motor inside. And this the both glue go with the linear rear to drive the table up and down moving. And this is the print head cable from the print head to the board, the main board, a carriage board here. And so this inside of this box inside is the the carriage board system. So when we go back side of the machine, we can see there's the back limb sensor here to protect the, the table move out of the back side position. And also the motor, the flapped motor, and also the machine mark here, and the USB port, and the power port, and also the general power switch here. And also the left, the right, the left side of the ball screw go with the linear rear to drive the rapid move on and down, up and down. And also when we go here, you can also see there's the label mark here. This is the serial number. You can see the serial number clearly here. And from this uh, serial number, you can get the machine model for serial number and the model for this machine. So when we get a problem, you can take with, we can talk with the focus support team and tell us the serial number so you can get support. So this is serial number for the machine. And this spare part is the up limb sensor to protect the print head get not, not scratched by the meter or t-shirt. This is the sand and at the right, right side is the receive. This is the receive. So one send, one receive. And this is the, the laser sensor to protect print head. And there are three screw, screw installed at the bottom of the print uh, t-shirt palette. One, two, three at the left, and also three at the right side. And these three, these six screwdriver screw is used for adjust the flat bit, vertical and horizontal, to make sure the different angle and each position the thickness between the print head and the t-shirt surface is the same. So if you get the printed head, uh, if you get the table is not vertical, not flat, you can adjust little adjust and the each screw to make the flight at each position. Okay, after you know the function for each spare parts, then we can start to do the calibration and the installation. So first we need to find out the tape, the fasten tape here to lock the print head belt to protect it's not damaged before, during delivery. We find out and uh, use the scissors 
to cut it carefully. Be careful to not damage the belt. And after we cut it, we can check if the table moves backward and forward freely. And now in order to not need to power on the machine, we just pop off the machine and check the movement first. Be sure everything's okay, then we can also release the carriage belt here. This is also the belt to to protect the carriage not moving or damage during delivery. And also we cut it. Okay, so after you cut down the belt, you can release the carriage and you can just uh, check, move the flap, move the carriage from left to right and right to left to be sure we are not block the carriage moving. And also when we move the carriage out of home position, here we can also see some uh, spare parts of the cap station. So the first one, this is the the cap, ink cap for white ink print head and ink cap for color print head and also the wiper, the wiper to wipe the waste ink that stay at the surface of print head after every cleaning solution, after every cleaning, fun, uh, cleaning uh, behavior. And also here is the protection spare parts to protect the carriage we are not move out of, out of home position and also to to pull the carriage move out uh, move up to keep weight like this and then you just uh, check you pull and release your finger to check if it will automatically go back like this so if you pull up and but this stay he stay, stay here but cannot go back automatically that means the cap station get some problems must be sure it have the uh, tension and also when you move the carriage from left to right back home and here automatically be locked to keep weight print head. So this is very important. If you get a problem from the cap station, the first thing you cannot suck the ink out for printing. So you cannot get a good print result. And also if it leak air between the cap station and the print head, you will get some uh, print head clock problems. So this double check is, is very important for using and maintain the printer. And also here is the home limit sensor here. And this is the home limit sensor to protect the carriage move out of home position. When it moves to right and the sensor get detected by the metal at the bottom of the carriage to protect print head and the carriage move out of home position. And when we go to the the bottom of the carriage, we can see there's the inco film and the sensor, inco sensor here. And it must be sure the film, this is the film, this is the sensor. And I must be sure the ink film is stay at the middle, at the left side, the right side, up and down, at the middle of the sensor. That means the sensor cannot be, that means the film cannot be scratched by every position of the sensor or any spare parts. Must keep the sensor clean without scratch. And it must be at the middle. If the sensor out of the sensor, if the film at out of the position of the middle of the sensor, we get a problem to power the machine or printing. So this is very important. This is the ink of sensor or the ink of film. Uh, must double check if you get a problem. And it get clean, it get dirty or a scratch, must be changed or clean.